Let's keep this thing rolling. What it do with your boy Battle Truth? Let's get right off into this. Another case have been filed against RBE Rare Breed Entertainment for the Murder Move Bird card. This time the case is filed on Murder Move. It seems like reality is hitting Murder Move now. He's starting to understand he ain't as big and popular as he thought he was now, was he? It's different when you're on that smack stage who continue to sell out mostly e who continue to sell out every major car, every ticket they have. You would think that that has something to do with you now, wouldn't you move? In reality, it don't. URL is a brand established battle league, the biggest battle league in the United States. Nine times out of ten, they cars are gonna sell out. They major cars are gonna sell out, man, when they putting together a decent car. It's going to sell out because their name is already established. So when you own them cards, it look like it's coming from you. But it's definitely not coming from you. And we can tell that by what's going on at Rare Breed Entertainment. And, and, and because this card is not selling out, has nothing to do with Rare Breed Entertainment. Let me just throw that up out there. It has everything to do with Murder Mook, his stock value, and how uh, 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 in demand he is when it comes to this battle rap community. It has everything to do with that. How is it that this card is not sold out when it only holds the capacity of 250 uh, people capacity in this venue, and yet it is still not sold out? 250. You said on an interview with 15 Minutes of Fame when you were being interviewed that your price is your price no matter where you go. Your price for URL is the same price for RBE, same price for King of the Dot, because your stock is what it is, and wherever you go, that's where it is. Well, we finding out wherever you go, your stock ain't really that big now, is it? Because now you on Rare Breed Entertainment. 250 tickets. Still ain't sold. Making your return, your return comeback. You've been gone for years. This ticket ain't sold out. This card is not sold out in the 250 capacity place. Well, reality definitely has sat in. You definitely ain't worth all that money you said you was worth. And this is the evidence and proof of it. Well, it's obvious the URL don't need you. You definitely need them. So you can hide behind the numbers and stats of what you really is worth and what your value really is, brother. This is an assurance that your stock ain't high as you thought it was. This is the assurance of knowing you ain't as in high demand as you thought you was. This is an, uh, uh, an assurance of you not being the guy that the battle rap community you thought you could deceive really thought you were. You not at all, fam. You not at all. All the people on this car and it still haven't sold out a 250 seat venue. And you headlining it, making your return back. And you in New York. And you in New York. So it's no excuse. Has nothing to do with the leagues, but have everything to do with you. It don't matter what Drake performed, whether he performed in Chicago, California, down south. Philadelphia, Drake is Drake, and wherever he go, his fan base is going to be right there. Ain't that what you said in so many words on 15 Minutes of Fame? It don't matter where you go, your price is your price. But come to find out, it obviously do matter where you go. Do you know why? Because now you really see just how uh, 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 important and a non-factor you really are. This reminds me of Sir. How he always bragging. Oh, I got a million views. I got a million views. I do a million views. Right. On the URL. Because it has 800 some thousand subscribers. Outside the URL, what are you doing? What are you doing outside the URL? He still got a battle with. Uh, uh, in the basement that still ain't cleared a million. Why? If you who you is, you who you is, your number's going to follow you wherever you go. But it definitely matter what channel you on because that channel that's generating traffic going to give you more numbers based upon you just going somewhere else. It's sort of like doing an album and people feature on your album. When you're doing an album and, pe and people are uh, featured on your album, what happens? 
Well, you you do features with people who got uh, a fan base and thing, so that when they on your album, they could draw. You could get some of their fan base and the attention that they getting to help your album and stuff sell. Well, it's the same thing. The only difference is now the proof is out that you wasn't worth everything you say you were. Now your stock has definitely fell and took in a hit. You have definitely been unmasked and revealed as just being a regular common battle rapper. I think that revealed Lux too in his last battle with uh, Arsenal. Y'all ain't big as y'all make yourself out to be now. And the numbers have shown it and the numbers have proven it. Now, I leave this over to the people. What do y'all think? RBE, Rare Breeze, Moot Return Back to Battle Rap at Club Drone. 250 people capacity. Still haven't sold out yet. 250 seats. I leave it up to y'all. Y'all decide. What do y'all think? Again, I can't blame RBE for it. Can't blame them for it at all. So who is to blame? Moot or Red Breed Entertainment? Because they doing the promotion. They got him on the card. His name's supposed to draw traffic and attention. We all know about it in the battle rap community. Why ain't nobody moving? Why ain't nobody moving? I'll let y'all be the judge of that. Vote below. Give me your opinion on what y'all think. And we'll be back with a guilty verdict. Or we throw this case out. Let y'all talk about it. Subscribe to Battle Truth, man. Join my Discord and subscribe to my channels and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, man. Subscribe to the YouTube page.